my original intro didn't do this character justice, but this is going to be a really, really great addition to the game. We got rage regen, we got damage reduction, we have cleansing. It's all of the things we really, really need in another healer, because Elowen can't be the de facto best healer for everything. That's that that's a little bit over overdone, right? So this this hero is going to really, really, really help uh, with that sort of thing. It's currently really early in the morning, uh, aka 7 a.m. I have not gone to sleep yet, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe for tired Dustin trying to find time to make you guys videos. <laughs> so if I don't sound that excited in this video, just know it's because I'm a little tired, but I really, really am excited for this unit and a lot of the other units I will be covering shortly. I'm really excited to bring you all a sort of mini series in a way, which will be going on throughout this week, maybe next week, depending on how my schedule turns out and how, you know, the videos end up going, because I do have a lot of stuff to make. But I want to make a series which is a ton of just leaked units, because we have a ton of them now. There's like five that are all really, really exceptional units. And I'm going to be making a video hopefully every day we'll see what happens and this is the first of many so um to start off we have elowen 2.0 and as you can see on the screen this is what she is projected to look like and she's really really cool obviously elowen 2.0 is a big big deal and she actually kind of fixes a lot of the issues with this game's balance at least with the heroes which i've been talking about for a long time which i will elaborate on pretty shortly but the fact that she even exists is kind of crazy because Elowen has been so dominant in so long. So even a hero that does something even similar is going to be a big, big deal. So to, before I get into the kit, number one is this is what she looks like. It looks like she will be having a mini event when she has it coming out. Kind of like when we have a limited unit, we have an event, but probably will not be anywhere near that size. And she's going to be a big deal for a lot of accounts. Because I know we are having a lot of Elowen banners recently, but if you do not have Elowen, or you want something that has a little bit of a different kit, uh, but still does so some things that are functionally similar, she's going to be really, really cool. So just remember this image, and let's go on to the next part. So the kit, I do have two different things. We have this image and also this image. Uh, so special thanks to both Rokanchi and Aresis for this, and also Panther and T uh, for helping me organize this sort of thing, and R-Type for making this infographic in particular. As you can see, some things are a bit different on both sides, but I will be defaulting to this one. Um, I know I, I did ask R-Type to put a lot of work into this, and I really do appreciate it, but as you can see here by like the HP stat, it has been changed a little bit, so I'll put the image of the actual character right here, as you can see where my mouse is, and then I will be, you know, just using this one. So, shout out to our type really, really sorry about that. And yeah, so here we have Tallulah. Tallulah is the name of this girl right here, and she's a legendary piercer and a healer, which is really, really cool. To go over the stats quickly though, we have 11,000 HP, it's above average for a healer, 4,600, she is eight. She is attack based, sorry, and this is pretty solid for a healer, defense is normal, magic resistance is higher than the defense, which is normal for supports, cost is 18, very very basic, block 1, that is not a real thing, no, no platforms can actually block as far as I know, and the attack interval is 3 seconds, very very normal stats for a support, but a bit above average in a certain amount of areas. Now, to get into the kit, we do have a talent, and the talent is when deployed, summons three butterflies around the hero, each granting one stack of butterfly waltz. The butterfly waltz is every two seconds. Sorry, I gotta kind of move around a lot. Uh, butterfly waltz is every two seconds, restores HP based on the carrier's max HP, and the caster's attack. So essentially how a normal... A uh, heal works, so, you know, Lily, Light Luck, you know, Elowen even, all of the stuff, it is based loosely on the carrier, aka the, um, the cast, like, uh, the receiver, sorry, I should say, uh, in this case, case, it works a bit differently, but means the same thing, and the caster's attack, so Tallulah's attack, um, so when she 
deploys, she puts those on heroes. So when you deploy her, she's going to put those out, and they're going to heal a bunch, and the healing is proportional to the number of stacks, cannot be dispelled. So that is very cool. It's essentially like a continuous heal. If we look over here, I know I'm moving around a lot. We do have continuous healing on the capabilities, and that's pretty cool. We also have wide heal and arena mastery, which I will get to in a second. But let's keep on going. So when a butterfly lands on an ally, which is what she puts out, it grants four spirit to them, converts 50% of the hero's attack speed to healing effect, which is really, really interesting. So if we go over here to Forest Spirit, every two seconds restores HP based on the carrier's max HP and the caster's attack for at least 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, if the carrier has 100% HP, we'll fly to another wounded ally within one tile. So around them, kind of similar to like Laurel Range or how a king works uh, within one tile or return to the caster. The carrier cannot attract more butterflies, cannot be dispelled. So essentially, when she gets deployed, on her talent, she summons three butterflies around, each granting one stack of butterfly waltz. Butterfly waltz being every two seconds restores the HP. Continuous heal. And then when the butterfly lands on an ally, it grants for its spirit. And for a spirit uh, makes it so that every two seconds they restore max HP and attack. And if they happen to be full after that 10 seconds, it's going to move on to someone else. So that is very, very cool tons of healing output she could potentially get like three heals out and we haven't even gone over to her uh her normal attacks and also something interesting is it converts 50 percent of the hero's attack speed to healing effect you do not need to build her with healing effect in any way shape or form you just want to build her with more attack speed really really cool i do like heroes which need certain stats more than others because a normal healer you don't really need that attack speed as much but something like hollow you really want that attack speed because it works into her kit just like how into lulix kit that's how that works now skill wise her normal basic attack is an auto attack and as you can see her range is absolutely massive this is a vortex somi hollow range you know pharisee this is the best healer range in the game it is indisputable it's amazing you can fit so many things in here, and this also gives a lot of viability and stuff like your Gil Bus 2 and stuff, so that is a very good range. But her basic attack is she sends one butterfly to one ally in range. Keep in mind that the butterflies end up doing a lot of additional things, like discussing the talent. Uh, but if the hero isn't car carrying butterfly waltz, continuously enhances an ally carrying forest spear instead, increasing the healing of forest spear by 50%. So essentially what this does i know i have to explain a lot but this is a very confusing kit so bear with me here and it's currently 7 a.m so i'm a little dead but if the hero isn't carrying butterfly waltz essentially the thing that she puts out then it enhances someone with forest spirit which is what happens when a butterfly lands so you're gonna have forest spirit out all the time and this essentially just increases the healing on them by 50 percent really really cool now she does have two passives the first one being a woodland blessing which is forest spirit also grants the carrier physical damage reduction and magic damage reduction which is very reminiscent of something like medan or lily you know these kind of healers that really help with your damage reduction on the same vein that pharisee does but in a really really interesting way and it also here's the big thing restores six or 10%, depending on the skill up, I'm pretty sure. Rage per second. <laughs> That's crazy. So when she she puts out for a spirit, when a butterfly lands on an ally. So when she essentially heals them, because the basic is a butterfly. And then per second, 6 to 10%. That's insane. Like, that's a ton of rage regen. It's not going to be as good as Element, I'm pretty sure, because it will still be within her range, although her range is absolutely massive. Uh, but that's a lot of rage that's going to be out. I do not know if it'll just be one time, like for one second, or if it, it will continue for that 10 seconds. I assume it will. And if it does, that's going to be crazy. Um, very, very, very good rage regen skill. Will she dethrone Elowen? No, because she works globally. But is this really, really important? Yes, I have been talking about this being an issue for so, 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 so long. And this really, really solves uh, a big issue, which I will elaborate on later. 
I will get to it. But for now, we're still talking about the kit. Taking a long time, but bear with me here, guys. Bear with me here. Now we do a Fairy's Touch, the other passive, during Enchanted Ritual, which is the ultimate Forest Spirit has a 100% has a chance when fully skilled to dispel a debuff from each ally in range every two seconds. So she is going to have one of the strongest dispels in the game. Uh, she has the range for it. Dasomi is the only other unit for the range. This is amazing. They're making Nissan Day the second epic healer. So for something like Gilbasu, you're not going to need any legendaries. But if you happen to pull Tallulah, she's going to be a contender for the best debuff cleanser in the game, uh, is what I'm reading. Because it's one debuff, it lasts a long time. Imagine Gilbus 2, uh, where she essentially just puts puts out the dispel and it can happen for multiple poison phases. Like that's really, really good. Now I do not know if it is actually ally every ally in range or if it's purely on forest spirit or if she uh she puts this out um to everyone. Uh but we will figure that out when we read the kit. Then elaborate on this passive. Now the Enchanted Ritual Ultimate, which is manual, it lasts for 15 seconds at max skill, costs about 800, so this is the cheapest dispel out of stuff like Lily and Medan off the top of my head. I don't really know, uh, not Lily, sorry, Nissan Day and uh, Medan have about 1,000, Elowen I'm not 100% sure, and Helloin does give a ton of rage regen to herself. So it will not be the cheapest, but it will be very, very easy to get, which is amazing, especially for Guild Boss 2, where cleansers are the most important. But she, channel she channels a ritual and instantly sends one butterfly to each of up to three allies in range. So an instant three allies uh, have a butterfly. Keep in mind the butterfly makes the forest spirit happen, which is what everything else kind of capitalizes on. Uh, during the ritual, all the healing effect, rage regen, and damage reduction from forest spirit, which is a lot, also applies to allies adjacent to the carriers of Forest Spirit. So she's essentially going to put out three butterflies, one to three different allies, and keep in mind that her basic is also putting out butterflies. And then uh, when the, the Forest Spirit happens, which is inflicted by the butterflies as well, as you can see here, uh, when a butterfly lands on an ally, grants Forest Spirit, it's then going to do the Rage Regen, it's going to help with the dispels, uh, especially during the alt, because that's when the spells are active. And then they're also going to spread to allies adjacent to the carries of Forest Spirit, which is really, really interesting. So I do not know if this will cleanse everyone, but I can say that the healing effect, rage regen, damage reduction going to apply to everyone else is really, 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 really cool. And the butterflies don't leave their carriers. So I'm really hoping that since it lasts 15 seconds, the basic is going to happen to everyone else and then end up dispelling everyone else. Obviously, we'll have to be tested. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. It is still early in the morning. So tell me if I'm getting anything wrong, please, in the comments. And I will like pin it or I'll heart it or anything. So keep that in mind. But let's move on to butterfly. Uh, wait, no, I read that already. Physical magic reduction, 30%, by the way, is insanely, insanely, insanely strong. But you can only have one effect on the field. But since this is the strongest, it will default. And then we get to the awakenings. Um, the awakenings, let's just quickly read it. When a butterfly lands on or leaves an ally, the ally restores 10% HP. More healing, always good for a healer and a support. And then the healing effect, plus 8 on the A2. Pretty boring, who the hell cares? A3 is Woodland Blessings Rage Regen per second, increased by an extra 1% Enhanced Woodland's Blessing. Uh, so I assume what this means... I don't actually know what this means. My brain is having a fart. Uh, Woodland's Blessing. Oh, the passive, sorry. Uh, Forest Spirit also gets a carrier and restores Rage per second. It's by an extra 1%. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, it won't be that exceptional but will definitely be helpful. Rage Regen Auto, pretty good, especially because she's a healer. And when a butterfly returns to the hero, restores 50 rage. This will probably make her the best cleanser in the game, uh, at least in terms of like just getting it out. For, so for something like Healer Codex, it's going to be crazy. Then again, you don't really need it. So I wouldn't really advise anyone for going for this. The A1 seems to be the most important because more healing is always good good uh, especially for a lot of different content where you need a ton of healing so that is the full kit 
uh, break, broken down. Obviously, a little sloppy, but, you know, I'm doing my best for you guys. I'm currently dying. But, you know, she seems very, very good. She's not game-breaking like Eloin is. She's not going to be the most meta in every single team ever. But for something like Gear Dodge 1, or Gear Dodge 2, or, you know, Healer Codex, or Guild Boss 2, you know, stuff like this, she's going to be very, very good. She's going to be really good in all the gear raids. She's going to be really good in a lot of different areas. Now, I do have to say, unpopular opinion. Uh, sorry, I'm doing some gear dungeons. Unpopular opinion, if we go to the support characters in uh, the Watcher Realms thing, uh, I don't think supports are that good. And I know this is not a popular opinion. I think you just have to have them. And maybe it's because Eloin exists. But compared to like Eloin, for example, if you look at these legendary healers, I feel like they're not that good in that many things. I think of them all as very niche units. You're going to use Hollow, Vortex, Eloin, basically for everything. Medan, if you don't have a, a cleanser for something. And then outside of that, Artemis is for anti-heal and two pieces of content. Tosomi is an amazing cleanser, but that's mostly what he's used for, and also does damage increase. He's one of the better ones. Carnelian's amazing, but like Sadie is very niche. You're not going to use her much. Eunomia is the worst cleanser in the game outside of Arn, who doesn't count. Pharisee is amazing, but he's only used for two pieces of content. Aelin's really only used for a couple of pieces of content. You know what I mean? These aren't really that usable in a lot of things. I find myself defaulting to the epic healers on takeovers, and even for myself or Eloin, and that's what ends up happening. Sure, these healers are really good, but I don't really see a lot of everyman healers, or really any like good legendaries where I'm going to use them as a de facto healer for everything, or at least in the conversation. And Tallulah is going to fill that role for me. If I get Tallulah, which I am going to pull for her when she comes, I am 100% going to use her in most areas in the game. Am I gonna use her above Hollow or Vortex for certain things? That has yet to be seen, but currently she seems to do a little bit of both. She helps you survive, she does some rage regen, she also cleanses, she does probably very, very good heals, but once again, I cannot comment on that because this is a kit, this is not a testing video. Overall, Tallulah is going to be really good for the state of the game, in my opinion. I've been vo very vocal about this for the since the beginning. Uh, Tallulah, you know, is going to solve the cleanser issue and rage regen issue even just a little bit. And those are the two issues I've been the most vocal about in the past. Uh, I made a video called Eloin is a Problem a couple months ago, and it's cool that they're finally taking that to heart. Uh, Rage Regen, we currently only have four Rage Regeners, and those are, let me go back to the game, those are Eloin, clearly the best healer in the game, way overtuned, too broken, too necessary. We all know how it is. If you do not have Eloin, you are handicapped. Laia, Legendary Lord, very hard to get. She has a very solid Rage Regen skill, but that's mostly because she also increases some damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, I mean, Lyo's very hard to get. We have Hollow, and then we have uh, Laurel right here. Sure, Idril A3 also gives Rage, or like Lust also gives Rage, but they do not count in any way, shape, or form. We currently only have four. The Epics are incredibly rare. Uh, and still don't fulfill every role, Tallulah will help a little bit with that. So she'll be in any uh, any Guild Bus 2 comp that doesn't use Eloin, and maybe she could have some viability in front of Eloin if you don't have Carnelian, because she helps people live. I don't really know. Her kit's very, very strange, very, very complicated. So once again, I might be commenting on her a little wrong, but I do think she'll be very, very, very good in a lot of areas, and I'm very excited for her. So... Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to end the video here. I don't want to keep on too long. I don't like making long videos if I can help it. Uh, but, you know, let me know what you guys think. Is she going to be great? She is Eloint 2.0. That is blatant. Uh, she is the exact same type of thing. She just does a certain number of those things very differently. And I'm unsure how they will interact. But from what I'm reading... She's going to have some really good kit synergy and be a very, very fun healer to use. And at the end of the day, it's a game. What we got to do is we got to have fun, right? So I advise everyone, you know, keep her on your radar. Pull for her when she comes, but she's most likely not going to be out for a month to two months. If not, it'll probably be within that time she comes. 
make sure to keep your eye out on the ladder vids I will be making on the new heroes. We have an epic Arbiter Lord, a brand new Infernal Fighter who seems pretty solid, uh, one of the best inspiration units in the game. You know, stuff like that will be coming very, very shortly. So stay tuned and Dustin signing out.